Time to count the medals. Hey! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Kamen Rider G.O. Rider Armor Series, O's Armor. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right up front here, we have Gio with the O's armor. Up top, Rider Armor Series, Rider Kicks figure on this side of the box. We have O's on this side of the box. We have O's on the back of the box. We have our obligatory product shots to set the other. Warning, don't eat anything in this box. That could be very bad for you. On the bottom of the box, we have things that I cannot read. And so, Pac-Man! And that's basically it for the packaging then moving right along here we have the o's armor the next of our legend rider armors in this line and as you can see it comes in three pieces the three main uh, components of o's's base form we have the taka tora and bata otherwise known as the hawk the tiger and the grasshopper so let's take a look at each each Piece individually, easy, easy for me to say, I can't form words today. Don't know why, my tongue just doesn't want to work. Hopefully, it won't be a problem for the rest of the video. Taka! Right here, we have the hawk. And uh, there's not much to it since it is just the uh, faceplate of the armor, but that's, that's supposed to be the hawk right there. Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> hey. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's it. Whoosh. <laughs> That's all there is to it. <laughs> really all there is to it. And here we have the uh, tiger right here done in yellow with some black. You got the, uh, the faux ride watch holders on either side here. You can see this has some big old claws up front. Some little feet in the back. Um, you know, there is articulation for the tiger. The front part of the body can move. This can move from side to side if you need it to. Because reasons, the back also can just kind of swing around there on that ball joint. And again, those hind legs can just move from side to side right there. So, you know, not not really uh, meant for posability, but hey, things that move, if you need it to move, the claws can also move up and down if you need it to. Again, not, not too much for posability in this mode, but, you know, again, things that move if you need them to move. And here we have the grasshopper here, done in green and gray. And again, not a whole lot going on here, as you can see. A little bit of more detail there in the legs, more detail throughout the body. A little antenna here on a hinge so they can move forward and back. Uh, the legs are actually two separate pieces, so they can't move together, but you can move that section if you want to. And that section will move around like so on that hinge. And yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Not a whole lot to it. Not a whole lot to it. So now let's bring in the man who will kill us all in the future here, Gio. And we will put this armor onto him. You can see how he looks here with his little pets. That's precious. That's precious. But, as always, to get him ready, we do want to remove his ride watch holders and just put those off to the side you do leave this driver on him uh he doesn't come with a driver with two uh ride watches in it which is kind of weird they just want you to leave this one on you can take one of the uh uh jiku drivers from the other armors and plug this onto him if you want to but then you lose kind of the crotch piece there but you know it's totally up to you i'm gonna do it the way the box shows you how to do it with the way the instructions tell you how to do it anyway so, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the tiger here, and you just want to uh, basically just rip his legs off. You just want to remove this section here. Come here and remove this section. They just clip right on, and, and you just bring the claws down like so. This section here just opens up, and you just drop this down over Gio's head, and you have the two little posts back there that will plug into the ports on his back to get everything secure. Come on, come on, work with me, work with me, there you go. And just get that together, like so, and you got that section on, and you take this section here, and this will tab on to the forearm, and this section will tab on to the other forearm, to give him his big old, uh, wait, hey, hey, what's the matter with you, man? Why you gotta fight me, man? Why you gotta fight me? I'm trying to help you become an overlord. Don't fight me, there we go. 
So now he's got his big old claws right there. So we got that done. So now we'll take the grasshopper and we're going to rip it apart. So I'll just kind of bring these out of the way. Take this back section here, just unpeg that. And this section right here is going to plug right here, like so. That will just clip into place. And that makes the midsection piece right to there. Then you take the rest of the grasshopper and you split it in half. And these will just plug onto his legs to give him the grasshopper leg armor here. Just plug that on like so. Go that straight out. And there you have the legs. And then for the hawk, very simple. You just take it, just clip it right up front here, in front of his big old noggin. I just get everything situated here, and uh, there you have Gio in the O's armor. And it's not too shabby, it looks better on the show, but it's not too shabby. Not too shabby. So let's get close here, so we can take a look at the faceplate here, which actually looks pretty nice. As always, everything is labeled, even on the chest. <laughs> Things are labeled, as is the thing with this show. And you got the big lion shoulder pads going on there. And the new leg armor. Not too bad. Um, as far as articulation goes, uh, since this faceplate is just attached to the chest piece, the head itself will not move. You can move his head behind the faceplate. You can do that if you want to, but this is not going to move itself. Uh, these shoulder pads are on ball joints, so they will move out of the way to accommodate your arm movement. So you can get the arms... Moving forward, moving back, outward, you know, if you move things around, you can get it moving pretty much all the way out. Uh, you still have your bicep rotation, your elbow joint, your wrist rotation. You still have use of that torso joint there, so you can still give him waist movement if you need to. Legs can move forward, back, out. This gets in the way a little bit, but can still move outward. You still have your bit of thigh rotation. Your knees can still bend. Of course, this piece does not bend uh, to make it you know, makes sense, but hey, you know, you saw the knee bend there, and the foot articulation is still there, nothing is hindering it there, so, you know, you still have uh, the majority of your articulation still intact, even with this armor on. Oh, and just to take a uh, quick look at the back here, you know, some nice detail in the back, nothing picked down in paint, but some detail back there. There you go. And of course, if you want, you can use this with gates as well. Um, but just like with the Forze armor, you don't get a gates faceplate. So he's still going to have uh, Gio's face. But, you know, you can still use the armor with him. If you wish. It's a thing. It's a thing you can do. If you want to do it. I'll just plug all this on him. So, let me just clip that on. Makes them look a little Christmassy <laughs> with the red and the green there. There you go. There you have Gates with the O's armor if you want to do it. So, there you have the O's armor. Oh, it's a pretty cool armor. My only complaint about this is I wish they had added that extra hinge in the uh, the leg sections here so that can move with the thigh. Um, that's the only thing that really kind of bugs me about it. But other than that, it's, it's a pretty cool armor. So there you go. Now I picked this up from Hobby Link Japan. But of course, there are many other sites you can go to for stuff like this if you are interested, such as CS Toys, Ami Ami, Hobby Search, Mandarake. Of course, there's always eBay and Amazon, but do be wary of their pricing. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for some common writer items. They mostly just sell figure arts at this point, but if you want to check them out, I'll put a link to their site in the description and down below. You can also check out the Geo playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description and down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Kamen Rider G.O. Rider Armor Series O's Armor, and this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, 
Home in your face. What the? What is this? You're gonna open a petting zoo? An evil petting zoo? With evil animals? You have issues. I have issues with evil people killing everyone I love! I can smell your breath through the helmet. Did they not have breath mints in your time? I'll be back.